Now I just finished building this drone up right here and I was going to flash the firmware on it. What I wanted to show you though was that uh, here as you can see the light is on, the green one is not flashing so it is uh, you know, ready to accept the firmware. So then if you look up here, you can see that it is in DFU mode and that's exactly where we're supposed to be. Then what I would like to do is see if I can recreate the problem because getting here was not um, so easy. Uh, I do have to say that, that recently I have had a lot of problems with these CL racing boards. Uh, Armiton, I was getting from Armiton, and they were great about replacing them, really great, and so I'm thankful for that. You guys are great, but I am probably not going to be buying any more of these specific boards for a while. I'll still be buying my frames and, and so many other things I get from them, okay? Uh, but this board, you know, I've had, I've had a multitude of, of different problems. Just recently, I, I, I mean, I think at least six, if not eight, were bad. Um, it could be just a bad batch. So we've seen this with the uh, with the uh, typhoons, the uh, airbot ones. I, I think I had about four or five of those go bad. I've had DYS boards you know, go bad. Random stuff in batches. We do a lot of drone stuff. So, anyways, I guess it's not anything new. But this is becoming a problem right now here. So this is a brand new board. This is a brand new one. And let's see again if I can recreate this. So here is the deal. I'll even get a stick here so you can see. I'm going to hold down the button and I'm going to plug this in. And you see that? See the green light flashing? Now, I don't want to move the camera around, but trust me, if you look over here on the screen for Betaflight, it is not in DFU mode. It will not go there. So let's try that again. So hold the button down. So this is good. I, I wasn't sure if this was going to be repeatable. Nope, didn't get it. So you try every combination, you know, you think, well, maybe I just need on this board to hold it down extra long. See, the, the green light's flash and flash and flash, and that's no good. It's not getting into the bootloader mode. So here is what, if you're having this problem, what you might try to do. The, the switch is just a switch. It's just making a contact between two points, right? So my thought here is to do this. Take your tweezers and if you look right here on either side of that switch, if you touch the contacts, might have to wiggle around a bit. Let's see how we get how we do here. There we go. Okay, red light. Then if I go over to beta flight, here you can see that now I'm in DFU mode. Well, that's really it. I just wanted to show you what I worked out to, to fix this problem right here. Now, this is not pretty, you know, really exactly new or anything that I feel that I, 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 I mean, it bothers me, but I've had multitudes of problems with many different boards from many different manufacturers. Um, recently, the ones from CL Racing that I mentioned, they had uh, there, I, I speculated something going bad with, you know, after the 5 volt regulator because you, you plug in the battery, you can't get the thing to, to come on. You hear the bad, you hear the, the ESCs and the motors do the boop de boops but uh, you don't get this light right here until you plug in the USB. Then you can configure it, you get the last bit of the two, uh, so you get kind of like the da da da, but it, you don't get the da da back, right? But when you plug in the USB, then you get that. So that was a problem. We've had maybe a similar or related issue where you plug the thing in here and the light kind of comes on and then it just dims out. Or maybe I've been backwards about that where it was dim and coming back in. But either rate, then you couldn't connect to it with USB. Um, on different manufacturers, I have had, I did a video on this too, I've had uh, m multiple accelerometer problems. You're flying it, it works all fine, but you smack it on the ground, you know, a little bit, and all of a sudden it starts flipping out because it thinks that it's crooked. 
I have taken those boards and just refloat it. Just take a hot air rework station and heat it up the accelerometer right here. Be mindful of everything else. You know, get some Captain tape or something, heat resistant tape to cover everything else up if you want to give that a try. That has fixed some things. In other cases, I've replaced the, uh, the, the uh, accelerometer gyro completely. I've also recently had some problems with OSD chips. I've replaced those. Um, and I feel that there is more. And, and what this comes down to, to me, is I think it's just a, a sign of, you know, this is a hobby and things are changing quite frequently, you know. And I think that uh, with the newness of things and compounded possibly by a lack of quality assurance or at least detailed quality assurance, the, the care that you'd get from, say, like an iPhone or an Android or something like that, I don't think it's maybe going into these. So I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately just becoming kind of used to it, trying to, trying to figure things out a little bit more to where I, instead of just saying, oh, this board's bad, ship it back and get a new one, maybe I can just fix the damn thing. So as far as, you know, how often do I need to get in here to, uh, uh, you know, change the firmware, maybe I can remember to do that. Or if I'm feeling, you know, like it's really bothering me, maybe I'll just change out that switch right there because that's really the problem, isn't it? That this switch is not good. So you know, faulty components. All right, that's all I got. Thanks.